Hi, welcome to Vino Shares. Jarrett Kelly here. Today, I'm going to be teaching you a little lesson that's going to make you the talk of your next New Year's Eve party. It's the perfect way to open a bottle of bubbly. Of course, we're talking about the art of savoring champagne. This is a lesson that's not as complicated as some may seem, but intimidating to grasp. Don't get me wrong, there's a lot of work that goes into proper savorage, but you can get it pretty easily with some basic steps and some safety procedures along the way. But before we do that, let's learn a little bit about why we savor, and more importantly, why we savor champagne. Sabridge is typically done with a heavy, sharp object like a saber, a sword, a knife, or any other object that can get the job done. For this demonstration, we'll be using a replica French briquette. This is the type of sword that cavalrymen would carry during the Napoleonic Wars. As the story goes, French soldiers would make their way through the countryside and stop in at champagne houses, where they could expect a complimentary bottle of champagne. One such champagne house owner was Madame Clicquot, the Grand Dame of Champagne. Madame Clicquot was only 27 when her husband passed away and she inherited his champagne house, which today is known as Veuve Clicquot. Madame Clicquot would give bottles of champagne to soldiers who would then in turn try to impress her with their sabrage skills. Napoleon himself was a big fan of champagne, being quoted as saying, I drink champagne when I win to celebrate, and I drink champagne when I lose to console myself. So. Allow me to properly show you how to saber a bottle of champagne. I'd be remiss not to use a bottle from the Grand Dame herself. We've got a beautiful bottle of Veuve Clicquot yellow label here. Now you're going to want to make sure that your bottle has been chilled a bit before you do this. What we're going to do first is we're going to remove all the foil from the top of the bottle and the neck. Next we're going to remove the cage from the bottle. So you're going to pull this down and start twisting it. Twist it all the way so that the bottom of the cage opens up and then you're going to very lightly get it off the top here and keep a thumb on here just so that if there's any additional pressure in the bottle this doesn't accidentally pop up on its own. We're going to keep a towel handy just in case there is a little bit of spillage. What you want to look for on the bottle is a seam where the glass was joined together. You can see a seam that goes all the way from the top to the bottom. That's going to be our point of least resistance and that's where we're going to want to set our blade. Now when you're holding the bottle, you're going to want to put your thumb into the punt at the bottom of the bottle. Make sure you have contact with all four fingers here. We're going to hold the bottle at about a 45 degree angle here. You're going to take the blade that you're using and put it down flat onto that seam. Then lift up so you're at about a 30 degree angle. When you swing, make sure that there's enough force on it. You don't want to go lightly on it, otherwise you're not going to get a clean break or any break at all. Make sure that when you swing, you follow all the way through with it. So let's go ahead and savor this bottle. Like I said, we're going to put our blade right here flat, lift it up to about a 35. We've got our thumb in the punt of the bottle, and we're ready to give this a go. Perfect. Now, as you can see, that's why we keep the towel around. We've got just a little bit of spillage, but we've got a nice cut up here, and you're ready to serve this. So we're going to check real quick. We're going to poke the top of the bottle right here. Make sure that we don't have any extra shards of glass on here. And it looks like we're all good. Make sure you're careful when you're serving this as these edges can be a little sharp. Now you can see those beautiful bubbles rising to the top of the glass. You can share this with your friends and have an immaculate time. They're sure to be impressed, scared, or maybe a little bit in between. No matter what they may be feeling, you'll be able to have a great experience beyond the bottle. Cheers.